2022 nawe unieleze kwamba unajiza titi unajitarisha kwa njia gani nambari ya SMS ikiwa ni 2247 naitwa Corazon Safan na mtangazaji wa lugha ya ishara anaitwa Ann Wairimu na mnatukiangalia taarifa kwenye shina la upeo taarifa ya kwanza ikiwa ni kwamba uzani wa gharama ya ardhi katika kaunti ya Nairobi na kaunti ya Kiambu umewasukuma wawekezaji wenye pato la chini kuwekeza kwenye ardhi katika maeneo mengine baadhi ya kampuni za ununuzi wa ardhi ikiwemo kampuni ya Dhahabu Land Limited zimeanza kuwekeza kwenye ardhi mbali na miji mikuu ili kuwasaidia watu wenye mapato ya chini walio na nia ya kumiliki vipande vya ardhi hii hapa taarifa kwa kina Kampuni ya Dhahabu Land Limited inawapa fueni wawekezaji wanaojitahidi kumiliki ardhi katika maeneo yanayozingira jiji la Nairobi. Kampuni hii inauza ardhi katika maeneo mbalimbali ikiwemo Malindi, Matu, Sagana na Kirinyaga. Akizungumza katika hafla ya maonyesho ya ardhi, Mkurugenzi mkuu wa kampuni hiyo Peter Kamau alisema kuwa ni muhimu kwa wawekezaji kuchunguza uhalali wa kampuni zinazouza ardhi. Ujue kuna wale wanataka kuvuna mahali hawajapanda. Ili naweza wauliza ni kwamba wakienda kununua shamba na kuinvest mahali popote, umekshua umeweza kufanya due diligence. Na ukifanya due diligence ni kujua hiyo ofisi iko wapi wamekuwa hapo kwa muda gani na wamekuwa wakifanya hiyo kazi kwa miaka ngapi look at their track record wame deliver project gapi na wameweza kununua wameweza kupea watu wa ngapi cheti za title deed baadhi ya wawekezaji walisema kuwa upungufu wa ardhi katika maeneo mbalimbali ndio sababu kuu ya wao kujitokeza ili kununua ardhi kutoka kwa kampuni ya ununuzi wa ardhi ya dhahabu nimekuja huku maridi kutafuta shamba kwa sababu niko na watoto na hawa watoto ni wengi kwa sababu shamba yangu ni nusuweka na hawezi kutoshea hapo huko kwetu mashamba imekuwa kidogo population imekuwa kubwa sana na ni lazima tutafute namna ya kupa ya kupanuka kampuni hiyo imeuza ardhi kwa watu elfu saba huku elfu nne wawekezaji hao wakiwa tayari wamekabidhiwa hatimiliki ya ardhi wengine wakisubiri kupata veti vyao mapema mwaka ujao Lydia Gashomo TV47 na mtazamaji wengi wametania wakisema kwamba mwezi wa Januari ambao ndio mwezi unaofuata Disemba si mwezi wa kununua ardhi lakini tunajua fika kwamba baada ya hiyo utaweza kujiza titi na uweze kuwa mojawapo wa wawekezaji. Kando na hayo ni kwamba licha ya kufilisika kwa kampuni ya sukari ya Sony mkulima Uma amepata njia mbadala ya kujikimu kimaisha. Mwaka 2019 imekuwa mwaka mbaya kwa familia nyingi katika eneo la ukanda wa sukari. Kuanguka kwa kampuni ya sukari ya Sony iliwaacha wapanzi wengi wa miwa na madeni makubwa na kuharibu mapato yao ya kila siku. Like almost due? No, the sale is November, so then this one from the baby. They eat a lot of uh, aunga, so because we can't rely on the commercial fees, it's impossible. So right now we have a lot of mess out there. So I believe it will be easier, not very easy, but easier on our side, because we'll be making our own feeds. Uh, we just buy a chonga from Lake Victoria, uh, sunflower seed cake, and then uh, we know how to mix it. It works on that and uh, other guys here. So at least uh, that will help us. But uh, for now we have a lot of mess because we want just to do our own things. At the same time we have. Uh, You see we have a, a lot of sukumawiki there. We have uh, potato vines which we have planted all over so that uh, at least we can subsidize. Because without that then you cannot you cannot get anything. Uh, the uh, profit margin will be very small. Yes. No, so you, you are, you are, you are... I, I used to be a, a huge farmer, sugarcane farmer. So but for now I'm comfortable with this because at least you know we sell milk. 
there are few dairy farmers around. And uh, when it comes to uh, pig farming, uh, it must be below 10. People are just starting to realize that. So, <laughs> fortunately, we are taking advantage of that, that people are still ignorant of poultry farming. Uh, most of the people around there think they, they are scared of that, you know, pigs are dirty. Or, of course, that's not the truth. The truth is sort of that. So, we are capitalizing on that. We decided not to wait for the collapse. So, we decided to go with that. This market for milk, the, we have market for you know, the pigs. Uh, last year, uh, Mr. Kimani from uh, Farmer's Choice came here to assess uh, what we were doing and uh, we were certified. So, we sell for, uh, we are capable to sell for Farmer's Choice. And there, there are so many farmers. Uh, my manager was just in Muranga the other day with uh, 20 pigs, and we sold them there. So I think we, we've done that twice. Yeah, twice. So, and then we expect to sell some of those by March. So uh, that's a good income. Yeah. So I encourage mo most of these uh, guys to, 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 to join us. And I believe that if there are many farmers around here, then we can do a good job. We can even uh, form a cooperative society, and then we can get market. We can begin as a team. It will be uh, cheaper on, on us. Yes. Thank you. Yes. By next year, we pray that, uh, as you see, this is the source of our employment. We have employed the youth here, uh, and um, by next year, God willing, we will be having more of employees here, and then that will reduce that uh, mentality of uh, having no job uh, within Migori County. So by next year, God willing, we will be having more opportunities. He talked about um, establishing another unit for the rabbits. So by next year, I know we will be having more of employees to mean more job within. Yes. Na mtazamaji na katika taarifa zingine zinazoturudisha kwenye kumbukumbu na mizizi yetu kama taifa ni kwamba viongozi mbalimbali wakiongozwa na mbunge wa Kandara Ali Swahome wamelitaka bunge la taifa kubuni sheria zitakazofidia familia za viongozi waliopitia mateso chini ya uongozi wa awali. Viongozi mbalimbali wakiongozwa na mbunge wa Kandara huyo wamelitaka bunge la taifa kubuni sheria zitakazofidia familia waliopitia mateso chini ya uongozi ambao sasa umepitwa na wakati the Mau Mau freedom fighters, many of their children did not even go to school. I think it is important that uh, as parliament and possibly hoping that this particular government, we, we did not manage the last government of Mwai Kibaki that actually was a big beneficiary of, of, of the struggle for the second liberation. We feel not quite happy. Judiciary has failed Rubia. We filed this case in 2012. We have been going to court. We have, they have failed to give us dates. They have uh, made this case to stall. I have made the representation to the presiding judge that he needs to hurry this case. He refused. And therefore, this is an indictment on Chief Justice that uh, he needs to come up with plans to ensure cases don't stall. And he has the, the hearings of cases, not only for Rubia, all litigants in the entire country. Na mtazamaji mwaka umeyoma tulivuanzia hapo awali na hata nikakuuliza kwamba jie wewe mjitarisha kwa njia gani kweza kukamilisha mwaka elfu mbili kuminatisa tukingo ya kukaribisha mwaka elfu mbili ishirin na mbili zungumza na minambari ya SMS ni bili mbili sufuri nne saba lakini mtazamaji kila wakati mwaka unapuanza wanadamu hupenda kuandika maazimio yao ya mwaka lakini swali kuni jie malengo hayo hutimia kuna wengi ambao huandika maazimio na kuyasahau kadri mwaka unavyoendelea Mwaka huu unapoisha umetimiza malengo yako. Hii hapa ni tarifa yake weekly siko kuhusu kuishi malengo ama ku, uh, kuishi na malengo ya mwaka mmoja. Nilikuwa na malengo na Mungu amejaribu kunionekania. Nilianza na nilikuwa na malengo fulani. Nimetimiza moja mbili naona hapo naye siwezi 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 kutoa Mungu makosa. Na machache ambayo nilikuwa nimeweka lengo we call it short term short term goals na niliweza ku achieve hiyo na zenye nilikuwa nimeweka long term goals nimeona ni kama hazikutimia ikiwa zimesalia siku mbili tu mwaka ufike tamati mengi yametendeka ndani ya mwaka 2019 lakini je 
Wakenya wangapi wametimiza azma na malengo ambayo waliziandika mwaka huu ulipoanza? Kuna yale ambayo tulikuwa tumepanga kukamilisha mwaka huu lakini kwa changamoto hizo ilikuwa ni vigumu. Malengo nilikuwa nayo ni malengo kama tatu. Lakini yote sikutimiza. Kuishi malengo huwa nguvu joto ambayo wengi huwa nayo mwanzoni mwa mwaka ila kadri ya siku 365 zinapoyoyoma ndivyo malengo ya wengi huishia kuzima pole pole kama vile mshumaa hatimaye kufika tamati mwa mwaka na mwingi wa sababu za kwa nini malengo hayakutimizwa uchumi wa Kenya imeanda juu shida sana shida saidi ni pesa ndio hatuna na kasi si mingi kazi zimekaa kidogo watu ndio wengi yeah. Wengi wametoa sababu zao huku lawama zao wakizielekeza kwa uchumi na serikali na jinsi wanavelezea mwaka ulivyokuwa mgumu kwao kiuchumi. Lakini kusema kweli mwaka huu imekuwa ni vigumu sana kwa sababu ya changamoto za kiuchumi ambazo zikatufanya hatukuweza uh, kusonga mbele. Nitaandika no siwezi give up. Nitajaribu Nione lakini kila kitu ni Mungu wacha tuombe Mungu atuonekanie huko mwaka wenye unakuja. Inafahamika kwamba ili kuishi malengo kuna hitaji ujasiri na kujituma huku wengi wakihimizwa kujiamini na kuchukua hatua za kuhatarisha kimombo taking risk ndipo kuvunja milima ya maisha. Lakini mwaka huu mwaka huu unayokuja nitafungua duka. Nitajaribu njia yoyote mpaka nione nimefungua. Iwe ni shujaa na wenye moyo mkuu msiogope kwenda kushoto ama kulia. Mwe makini kufuata sheria zote mlizoweka na kwa kufanya vile mtafanikiwa katika kila njia muendayo. Ndio himizo nayo kupa wewe unapokaribisha mwaka mpya. Wakenya huwa na malengo tofauti tofauti ya kuongoza ndani ya siku 365. Lakini je, mwaka unapoisha wakenya wangapi wameza kutimiza malengo ambayo waliandika? Nikiripotia TV47 kutoka kaunti ya Kisi, mimi ni Wiklif Siko. Na mshukrani sana weekly siku wengi uh, kweli hujiandaa kwanza mwaka kwa njia maalum lakini mengi huwa hayafikiwi. Usalama katika vituo vya matibabu nchini Kongo umeimarishwa ili kupunguza visa vya kusambaa kwa virusi vya Ebola nchini humo. Hii hapa taarifa kwa ukamilifu. Wanajeshi wamepelekwa katika vituo vikuu vya matibabu katika Jamhuri ya Kongo katika harakati za kupunguza ongezeko la visa vya kusambaa kwa virusi vya Ebola nchini humo. Shirika la Afya Ulimwenguni WHO lilisema mapema mwezi huu kwamba visa hivi viliongezeka kwa sababu wafanyakazi wa huduma za afya walitolewa katika maeneo yaliyoathirika pakubwa na ugonjwa huo baada ya wanamgambo kushambulia kambi zao. Daktari Glory Mubake kutoka hospitali ya Biakato alisema kuwa usalama umeimarishwa katika eneo hilo na hii ni kutokana na mashambulizi ambayo yamekuwa kitekelezwa mara kwa mara. Uh, Serikali iliongeza idadi ya wanajeshi wa usalama. Kabla hii kulikuwa na askari wachache tu ambao hawakutosha kuhakikisha kuwa maeneo yote yalikuwa na usalama. Lakini leo baada ya mashambulizi hivi karibuni usalama umeimarishwa sasa tunaona wanajeshi na umekaa hapa biakato Mratibu wa ofisi ya huduma za dharura ya umoja wa mataifa dhidi ya Ebola David Grisley na maafisa wengine waandamizi walizuru biakato ili kukagua usalama na mahitaji mengine ya msingi Kulingana na takwimu za WHO kumekuwa na visa 3340 vya Ebola pamoja na vifo 2210 katika janga la pili kubwa ulimwenguni ambalo lilitangazwa Agosti mwaka 2018. Na mtazamaji ndio hali ilivyo tukikamilisha mwaka 2019 hapa kwenye taarifa za shina la upeo ndicho kikomo ukiwa na Mikora Zona Stefan aliye kwenye meza ya lugha ya ishara anaitwa Anwa Elimu na kusihi usibanduke tuna mengi ambayo tumekutarishia ili kukamilisha mwaka huu kwa njia inayofaa zaidi lakini kumbuka kwamba ni dikuli za je wewe kama mtazamaji na mpenzi wa TV 47 umejitarisha kwa njia gani ukikamilisha mwaka 2019 na kutakia kila laheri uh, utapata na tena na mwenzangu uh, uh, Andrin Kilemi na